use meditation to help you through the experience. I did too. Tell us what you did. I did. In fact, the book I wrote um, is called The Mental Mastery of Chemotherapy. And when I talk about mental mastery, there are really two components. One was meditation, and the other was use, the use of positive mental imagery. And positive mental imagery, um, for me, was really the key. Meditation was a, a tool I used to really ground the positive mental images in my subconscious mind. So when I seek a meditation, I, I, I'm, I'm not a practice uh, person in, in doing medication. I learned it a few years ago. I always use um, sort of structured meditation, meditation. But for me, it's stilling the mind and so that your mind is very receptive to the emotions, the feelings, the thoughts, and the attitudes that you want to be in your subconscious mind on a day-to-day, moment-by-moment basis. And the thoughts that I wanted in my, pos- in my subconscious mind were the positive mental images. I had two positive mental images, which I talk about in some of my blogs and in the book. And one of them is perfect health, and the other was perfect fitness. So let's talk, for example, about perfect fitness. My perfect fitness, um, the mental image, it wasn't really an image as in a still picture. It's more like a video. It was, it was a complete sequence of what happened at a particular date. It was only a few years before I was diagnosed with cancer that I had run a long run. I'm not a runner uh, by nature. And so I trained very hard to run a half marathon. So it was a major milestone for me. And I replayed this, and, and, and it turned out I beat my personal best my, in terms of you know, my mileage pace and the overall time. And I finished, which was also a milestone. And I felt really good about it. I was really energized. So all the elements that led up to that image is, is the video that I play in my mind. And when I still my mind with my meditation, I then think about positive, uh, perfect, perfect fitness. Is, and perfect health. The perfect fitness is the example I was just want, wanted to share with you about uh, how I felt. So as a result of filling my mind with this perfect fitness, when, when as I traveled in, through my journey of chemotherapy and choices came up about, let's take fatigue, should I lay down and take a nap or should I try and do something active to maintain my, you know, my physical activity level? And of course, my positive mental image was about being very active and being in good, in good health. In good shape, and so sometimes when I felt fatigued, I did take a nap. In fact, many times, I, I'd say probably most of the days I had some some nap. And some days I chose not to nap but to take a walk or a run. And sometimes I did both. And you know, every time that I laid down and I woke back up, I'd feel refreshed. Every time I took a run or a walk and I came back, I felt energized. So it took it to a new level. And in doing that, I think I was able to just maintain my conditioning and my fitness. Uh, and my overall mental attitude uh, to a, at a level that was, you know, certainly when I look back on it was, you know, I think unexpected. And I was really pleased by it. So I really felt that use of meditation and positive mental imagery allowed me not to just survive chemo, but to actually thrive during the whole, the whole six-month journey. What would you say to inspire someone who's just been diagnosed? Well, well certainly I would say take it step by step, you know. Um, I, I was, um, I mean, I wrote the book, it's called the, um, Your Mental Mastery, and it's of chemotherapy, and it's really not about cancer, it's about the chemo, because as soon as I was, you know, shortly after I was diagnosed with cancer, I learned that I was going to go through chemo, and my, all my attention drifted immediately to the chemo, and I really wasn't worried about the cancer, because they told me that, geez, there's only maybe a 25% that this could reoccur, and you could look at that as a half glass, glass half full, or, you know, or, or near, nearly empty. But, you know, I thought, well, geez, you know, the, the chemo, though, is for sure going to start in, like, the countdown, nine days, eight days, seven days. And so, you know, I, I took it step by step. And um, I guess what I would encourage people to do is, is, I think, keeping a chart, you know, of your own, use your own format. Your experience inspired you to write a book. Tell us about your book. In the book I, I wrote, it, the book's actually a workbook. And it's, it's not, it's, it's a short read. It's 40 pages. And it's really designed so that people can write their own story, tell their own, um, create their own positive mental images, uh, create their own meditation. Uh, they can use my meditation, which is also available online free um, at my website. So um, I guess my guidance would be take it step by step and do everything you can to take control. David, thank you so much for being on with us today. Um, we really appreciate it. Thank you, Pat.